All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakadash. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world enemy calls Jesus Christ. I would like to give double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. For teaching the hundred percent truth in season and out of season correctly, the way it's supposed to be done. I would like to say peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, the one hundred forty-four thousand down to one third Israelites who will be saved out of America. Okay, peace to you. All right. I would like to give more praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakadash, for allowing me to do another video through the Holy Spirit. So this video, right, is going to be another one of, this is why we call you the devil, okay? Who's the devil, right? Esau, Edom, okay? The nation of Edom, all right, which is these so-called white people today, all right? Chiefly these elites, all right? These elite banking families, all right, who rule the world, the Illuminati, okay? So I have a video I'm about to be playing. All right, about stolen inventions in slavery time, okay? That these Edomites stole from Jake, okay? It'll be difficult for people to prove intellectual inferiority. That's why even in our textbooks in school, they don't like to teach our children about black inventions. Because even greater than our African history or our American inventions, because... We're not African, all right? These so-called blacks, okay? Southern Kingdom, you Negroes, Haitians, Jamaicans, West Indians. We're not blacks, all right? We're not from Africa. It's like it. We're not Africa. We're not African, it's like it. We're not black, too, okay? Because black is a color that means void, all right? Void of light, darkness, okay? We're not from Africa, all right? We're Israelites. From nowhere, you're coming up with things that revolutionize the American social and economic order. Well, basically, there is a proverb that says that the only thing that peoples of European descent ever created was the patent office, because they stole everybody else's ideas and put their name on it. During slavery, because you were the property of your master, a lot of what we invented was automatically given credit to the master. The credit was forwarded to the master because we was property. We weren't allowed to take fame or notoriety for the things we created. Anything that made work easier. Why would white people want to invent something that make work easier when they have black folks to do it? You have a huge incentive to try to get things uh, to move smoothly so that, you know, you don't get any more lashes. You know, or somebody doesn't now have to sell someone else in your family. You know, you know there, were, there was a lot of incentive to create uh, create inventions. And that's another thing. Most of our black inventors had to deal with idea theft. White folks would come in and say, we did it first because we didn't necessarily know the process or have the money to patent our inventions. So white folk will find out what a black person invented and go do it real fast and get their application in because back then the process wasn't as thorough as it is now. Whoever got their application in first to the patent office, that's who got the patent. So we got thousands of inventions by black people. We'll never even know it because of the fact that they were stolen. They don't want anyone to know that we invented things. So if, it, if it wasn't for black people, white people couldn't take a dump. A black man invented the toilet, and he just made it white on purpose. A slave by the name of Black Sam, Eli Whitney Slave, created the idea for the cotton gin, and his master took it and patented it in his own name. How could he do that with no benefit of books? He wasn't even allowed to learn. A lot of people assume just because African slaves were illiterate, they were ignorant. And there's a real big difference because African people, they had a very elaborate language or, or elaborate languages over in Africa. When Africans were brought over here, they were taught a bastardized version of English and they weren't even allowed to see the, the language written down. And they were taught the language by lower class Europeans who were living in the South. So even though there was that major obstacle, blacks still did phenomenal things. Thomas Edison was known for stealing people's inventions. He was known for taking the inventions of a few African-American inventors. Um, Louis Latimer, um, Granville T. Woods actually went to court with Thomas Edison and Granville T. Woods actually won his case. Thomas Edison tried to bring Granville T. Woods to court on that invention. 
And I just saw a commercial for Mazda, I believe, cars, where they said, here's a man holding a thousand patents. Well, 90% of them he stole. Alexander Graham Bell and Thomas Edison, who are probably considered America's two greatest inventors of all time. But guess who was designing their uh, blueprints for the patent application? A black man. Now let's think about this for a minute. If you invent something, why do you need me to do the blueprints for the patent application? If it's your idea, how in the hell can I do the blueprints for it? You can't do the blueprints for my idea. I have to do them. So if Latimer is doing the blueprints, if he is your chief draftsman, and he's doing your blueprints for your patent application, Alexander Graham Bell, did you invent the telephone? Or did Lewis Latimer invent the telephone? Thomas Edison had a whole troop of people that was in his sweatshop and depending on the invention, he would hand it over to that particular department and tell them, see what it is that that does and then do something a little different and we'll patent that. And when they took, when he took Granville T. Wood's information and tried to make it his own, the court said no. The watermelon and black people stereotype, that came and that was popularized by Thomas Edison. Um, around 1890, Thomas Edison put together this Nickelodeon reel and uh, there were these African-American men who were joking around, shucking and jiving and, and kind of mugging for the camera and they were eating watermelon. And Edison filmed this, put this out and the general public saw this and they said, okay, African-American people must really love watermelon. And right after that film came out, thousands of postcards and all types of memorabilia flooded the market of African-American people eating watermelon. So that watermelon stereotype was popularized by Thomas Edison. A lot of people don't know there's an African-American male who is significant, has patents on the first major computer chips that made computers operate. Other inventors that we don't know about, essentially, who they call the father of the internet, was Philip Imegwali, a Nigerian man who essentially created the connection for quantum bits of information so that multiple computers could actually communicate with one another. During slavery, and this is well documented by white people, many of the masters, when they were sick, did not call for the physician. They called for the big mama on the plantation, and she would come with her medicine bag. They didn't have alcohol and rum. They had all types of things that she made from the herbs that she had planted. Some of them said, I don't want the doctor. Bring me the witch doctor, that voodoo woman who I own. Africans took what they brought from Africa, which would be a ground hockey, and all they did apply the game to ice. When the British were, were fighting the United States, there were African slaves or former slaves assisting the British in fighting the U.S. When the U.S. won and the Britons lost, many of the African Americans were sent to British colonies in West Africa, and many of the African Americans were sent into Nova Scotia, Canada, and they formed what we now know as hockey. They started to play this new game called hockey, which was something that Africans were doing in Africa. In ancient Kemet, there was a form of field hockey that they were playing, and they went into to Canada and they created what we now know as hockey, and there were actually black Canadian hockey teams in the early sport of hockey that a lot of people don't know about. And there's a great book about that called Black Ice that talks about the early inventors of hockey who were men of African descent. This is Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Okay? So Israelites are better than all these different nations, all right? They're better. They're more superior, all right? They're more smarter, all right? Better dancers, all right? Stronger, all right? In order to salt the, salt of the earth, okay? The Most High chose, all right, the nation of Israel to be his peculiar people, all right? So the white man has been deceiving the world, okay? Trying to make it seem like we're, um, we're not smart, okay? Like we don't have, um, like, um, we're base, okay? When he's the base man, okay? Because a lot of these well-known 
um, Edomite inventors, they stole their inventions from the slaves. Okay. All right. And this is in their history books. All right. And this is their history. All right. We didn't make this up. Okay. This is John 10 and 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they, and that they might have it more abundantly. Okay. So the thief, all right, the devil, the Bible speaks of, all right, the so-called white man, okay, he comes to steal and to kill. And that's what he does on the earth, all right? He's the board of wickedness. Everywhere he goes, he brings wickedness, all right? One more precept. This is 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. Lest Satan should get advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay, so we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, the wicked's devices, all right? Because we know they're going to try to fool the people, okay, to making the children of Israel seem like base, base um, animals, all right? Like we're, um, we're low creatures, okay? Like we don't know nothing, all right? When we, when we made America great with our free labor, okay? Not these so-called white people. All right. So this is why Esau's the devil. And this is why we call you the devil. All right. You need to pay for all this. All right. For fooling all this, fooling all these nations. And two thirds of Israelites are fooled still today. Okay. So you need to wake up from this madness. All right. So I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. For allowing to do not reveal to the Holy Spirit. Okay. Death and destruction to America. All right. And peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Okay. All around the globe. All right. Keep pushing and keep enduring. Shalom.